From the Washington Times, I'm Tim Constantine. The Biden administration is taking heat for its Pride Month display last weekend, with critics complaining that the White House violated the U.S. flag code in its display of the rainbow-colored pride flag. President Biden celebrated the LGTBQ community over the weekend at an event on the lawn of the White House with singers and speakers representing gay and lesbian causes. As part of the celebration, the administration hung a pride flag from the center of the side of the White House that faces the South Lawn. It was flanked by two American flags. The display violated U.S. Flag Code Section 7E, which requires the American flag to be in the center of any display featuring multiple flags. Not only is it a breach of U.S. Flag Code, but it's a clear example of the White House's incompetence and insistence on putting their social agenda ahead of patriotism. Those are the words of Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas. The Los Angeles Dodgers have run afoul of some of the biggest names in the U.S. Catholic hierarchy with their decision to honor a troop of drag queens who dress up as nuns and mock Christian rituals. Archbishop Timothy Broglio, president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York, and Archbishop Jose Gomez of Los Angeles denounced the team for supporting blasphemy and called on the faithful to pray on Friday, the day the team plans to recognize the drag queens, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. June 16th is also the day of the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This is not just offensive and painful to Christians everywhere, it's blasphemy, the bishop said. For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.